So this is going to be a bit of my review of the P99AS. Uh, I'm going to compare this in contrast. This is the 9mm version. I'm also going to compare it with the 40 caliber version as well as the QA version of this particular pistol. I used to have the QA in 40 caliber, but unfortunately I had a QA, or cor correction, I had a KB after I got back from deployment back in 2014. So it was a, it, I had factory self-defense ammo that I was shooting through it. It was old, but I don't think that should really do anything for that, but it ended up cracking the frame really good. Like, I didn't end up hurting myself. Like, the pistol didn't explode like you see a lot of Glocks or whatever you do. Uh, but I definitely felt it. Like, there was definitely a shock there. It was kind of, it was definitely, you know, it happened when it happened. The uh, I ended up, I didn't actually think beforehand to call up the manu the ammo manufacturer and talk to him about it. I was just going to be like, well, I guess I'm out of gun now, so. And I was talking to one of the local gun shops about it, and they're like, well, did you call the company and tell them this happened? I was like, no, should I? So like, they're like, well, yeah. I know it seems kind of dumb that I didn't think about that, but. <laughs> so uh, they actually called them up for me, and then I talked to them, and they're like, okay, well, yeah, send the gun back to Smith & Wesson, and then send us what ammo you have left. And I did that, and so I didn't hear anything back from them for like a week or two. But, uh, they are like, yeah, so we're going to send you a new gun, but unfortunately, the one you had isn't really available anymore. Because, like, I mean, these are, I mean, P99, this is the, the P99, this is the model, pistol model of 1999 is when these were introduced. So, I mean, at this point, the Walther had already started uh, manufacturing, like, the, what the, what the two new pistols they have, I forget the PPQ and the PPX and so these are these are actually harder to find nowadays I mean you can still find them on GunBroker but it was definitely even back I mean it's even more so now but back then it was difficult but they gave me the option of like hey we can't get you the exact one but if you'd like the 9 mil version or we can get you that so I'm like well do you have an AS in 9 mil I'm like yeah we can do that and so like so it's like okay yeah send me that so they sent me this little bad guy here and and they were basically replacing my pistol for me. I, I, I don't want to name the manufacturer because they were really great at taking care of it. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a, an, a one of those happening things. You know, it's 40 cal too. So, it's one of those things. But, uh, in comparison between this and the 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 9 mil and the 40, like, I like the 40. I didn't think it was that bad of a... It definitely, obviously, it's going to snap more. It's going to... It's a powerful cartridge. It's going at a higher velocity. I don't really think I need to explain the differences between 40 and 9 mil, but in this particular pistol, I didn't really think there was a, a huge, uh, really honestly, a huge uh, difference. I, I mean, I really wish I had, had the two pistols I could side by side for you, but unfortunately, this one was a replacement for the other one, so I don't have that. Um, the AS trigger system, which stands for anti-stress, I was kind of, I guess this was designed for more of a Tense things. You got your anti-stress mode right here, which I just showed you. This is completely decocked. This is in completely in double action mode. So, you get your double action cock it. First cock, you're in anti-stress mode, which gives you your long trigger pull right here. You pull it back just enough, and it'll click, and then that's right there by your breaking point on your trigger. You pull it a little bit farther right here, and that's your fire. Weapon cycles, you release, and you're back to that point. It only goes through any stress mode on the first trigger pull. This is a, honestly, and a, personally, the way I feel, it was a, it's an interesting design, but I don't like it, especially when I had, considering I had the QA first. The uh, AS here, this is a double and single action pistol, so you got your double action, any stress, boom, and then your single action mode. The P99 was, yeah, like a, I'm going to say like a, I would say like a one and a half, or like a single and a half. I mean, it had to be cocked in order to pull the trigger. If you decocked it, you couldn't pull the trigger again. For it to go, you had to recock it, so you'd have to, it was the way the P99 QA worked, it was like, it was only half cocked when it was actually cocked, so like you're pulling half, the striker half, or when you when the striker is set it's only halfway back so you pulling the trigger is you're pulling the striker all the way back and then it releases so it's like one and a half kind of 
At least that was my reasoning. Four, I think it's four and a half pound trigger pull for this to break the trigger. The P99QA had an eight pound trigger pull, but honestly, I I didn't feel that it was that heavy. I mean, the ergonomics of the pistol was a lot. I mean, uh, it's a wall through, so the ergonomics are gonna be great. I I felt that it was a great trigger pull. So. I mean, if you had your choice, I would definitely say get the P99QA, because between the two, I know this is kind of an old topic, these are like, pretty much these things have been phased out, I don't think they're in production anymore, and they're harder and harder to find. Anybody that has a problem with this, with the trigger on the QA seriously needs to like, lift or something, because that trigger is, there's nothing wrong with it, if you don't like it, there's something wrong with you, because it never felt gritty to me, it was always nice and crisp i liked it i loved it i mean so that was unfortunate that i couldn't get another qa but for the purpose of this comparison it actually works out really well for me um ergonomically the pistol is the exact same the pistols are the exact same like i have like i like i can use the same holster that i had the, the frames are the same size at least it feels that way so uh, that's pretty much I don't really can't think of anything else to say right now if you guys have any questions uh, hit me up let me know so uh, let's go shoot this thing so these are not the factory sites these are actually Meprolite night sites that I put on here I'm not really sure how the whole quality control on Meprolite side work because the front sight post kind of wiggles here if you can see that uh, all in all, these are nice. I'm not sure how old these are either. Since when I bought them, that's one thing I didn't say. But, I mean, they work great. So, if you actually do get a set of these, the one thing you have to realize is that when you're aiming with these, you probably can't see this because I got the, my GoPro on my head, but you put the dot on target. You don't put the target above the dot. So, okay, so I'm going to aim at this green dot right here. The way you would aim these, when you walk up to the dot, you're going to put your front sight post over the top of that dot, and then fire. I have no idea where the hell that's going. Yeah, step back, probably a little bit too close. So the way this is going to work is when you aim at it, you're going to line up your sights, but you're going to put your front sight post dot over the target you're aiming at. So I'm aiming at that green dot there at the top, so... And it's pretty much dead on. Just don't pay mind to it, and you're popping. Okay, the bottom one doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, let's go a little higher. I even... Hmm, okay, well. Anyway, yeah, so. I mean, this pistol nails. It dries nails. If you're, I mean, if you're any kind of a decent shot, this pistol will do wonders for you. It fits your hand like a freaking glove. You've got your sights dialed in, it drives nails. Let's get some double action goat. So just to highlight some of the features of this, so I've gone over the trigger mechanism, but I didn't really go over some of the other details. Uh, right here you have your magazine release. This is your slide release. This is your decocker. This is your cocked indicator. And that's your loaded chamber indicator. So those are pretty much your basic functions of the firearm. Uh, a lot of people get kind of weird about the magazine release here like I see a lot of people that don't I've seen a lot of bad advice with the magazine release like some people like you try to use your thumb that's not happening 
try to like other people would say try to use like your uh, index finger that's not really great the best way that I found to do to release the magazine on a pistol like this without adjusting your grip is just use your your middle finger you just come up and I mean that's the easiest way I found and, and that's pretty much how I do it uh, I guess these are not the factory sites like I've mentioned already the factory sites are just white dot three white dots so it's probably the only upgrade you really need to do for this at least all right so let's blow through my last five rounds and then we can get this out of here